It was a fun final round. Of course, Tim Heron entered today with a four stroke lead, but in years past, the Principal Charity Classic has shown us one thing. Crazy things happen here in the final round. Today was just another example. We go to my favorite spot on the front nine. Number five, it's a par five. Jim Furyk hitting from the fairway. Great having him out here for this year's Principal Charity Classic. He finished the tournament at nine under par. Brant Job out in that grouping as well. Finds the green with a second shot for Eagle. He cozies one up close and he tap in from there for Birdie. He was a top 15 finisher today. Stephen Ames down to the greenside bunker at five. That's pretty right there. Tap in Birdie. He was a big mover and we'll get back to him in just a bit. Dickie Pride started the day not far off. Gets a birdie on the par five fifth, but really struggled the rest of the day. Mike Ware putting some pressure on the leader, Tim Heron, here after a gorgeous pitch, nothing much but this, and that falls in for Birdie Ware, finishing at 11 under par. Doug Barron was right there with Tim Heron at one point, started strong with a nice birdie on five. He faded just a bit, but a strong tournament from him. Shane Birch in that final grouping, and he was also right there all day, but could not close in on Heron. Birdie at five, but the leader coming into the day was Tim Heron. He saw his four stroke lead disappear in the first four holes. Get a little momentum back as he hits the birdie putt from long range. Heron though, would struggle down the stretch. Bogey 16 and 17, relegating his lead. A little nervous, I guess. Uh, you know, it's the Champions Tour. I've won four times out on tour, but uh, haven't been in that position. And hopefully, I'll, I guess you learn from it even at age 51. So uh, it was a little rough. No, it's tough. You know, I, I missed a short putt on, on three to maybe get some real good momentum to feel like I have had control over my game. I knew I was, like, I was in grind mode. and. Uh, even though I was riding a cart, I got a little tired mentally. So, uh, you know, it was a tough day. And that would open the door for Stephen Ames to take this one home. He finishes 12 under par for the tournament. He is your 2021 Principal Charity Classic winner. I guess at the beginning, the beginning of the week, I actually had a number in my mind that I was trying to achieve, and that tw actually found out was 12 under. Um, I figured if I was able to shoot four under each day, that uh, I figured the 12 under would be a, a, a good enough number, but I wasn't sure that the weather was going to be like this. And uh, obviously that, uh, that 12 under I achieved and everybody else kind of faulted coming in, unfortunately for those, but uh, fortunate for me. So Stephen Ames started the day at seven or seven strokes off of the lead coming into this final round. Of course, he shoots a 67 five under and wins it at 12 under, almost matching what Kevin Sutherland did back in 2019 when he came back from eight strokes down in that final round.